you know, over the years I've developed a real passion for the old canvas style canoes. And when I found out that there was a man restoring them in Grand Forks, which is a pretty little town right on the foothills of the Kootenays, I decided I'd have to jump in the Navajo and go and visit them. Canoes are a quintessential piece of Canadian iconography and often bring back childhood memories of summer spent on the lake. While many newer canoes are made of aluminum and fiberglass, old wooden canvas frames are still at the heart of the Canadian experience. In Grand Forks, British Columbia, one man is helping to keep the tradition alive by restoring antique canoes to their former glory. Meet Mike Elliott, owner of Kettle River Canoes. Mike takes clients old canoes and restores them by hand, mending ribs, stretching canvas, and re-waterproofing them. The results are canoes that are works of art, as well as functional watercraft. To find out more about Mike's work, we followed him down to the shores of the Kettle River for a paddle in one of his restored vessels. Mike played the tour guide as we floated down the river. Yes, the Kettle River, it uh, starts up around Big White uh, near Kelowna. And uh, it's one of the only rivers in BC to travel east-west. So around here in Grand Forks, we've got the, the beautiful lush forests on the north face and the sun-baked hillsides on the south face. It's a beautiful valley. Let's go into the geography. It can bring us back 10,000 years. 10,000 years? Yeah. I'm a canoe restorer. I'm not a geology <laughs> expert. <laughs> now, Mike didn't start out as a canoe restorer. He found his way to the job in a very unusual manner. Yeah, for about 20 years, I was involved in elite level sport. My sport is fencing. I'm a fencing master. So how did you get from fencing into canoe restoration? That is, that's <laughs> gotta be an interesting story. Well, I met my wife. I met Christy. We decided to, to move out here to Grand Forks where she had lived before. And uh, when, when we came here, I wanted to get back to some of the things that I was involved in uh, as a kid. Um, and uh, a friend here had an old wooden canoe. He uh, offered it to me and I looked at a chapter in a book and worked from there. And so six months later, he wanted the canoe back. Did you give it back to him? No. <laughs> yeah. I totally restored it. It looked absolutely gorgeous. Friends of friends heard that I knew how to do this. So over a half dozen years, I did as many canoes. I was uh, looking for something to do as, as far as occupation. And Christy suggested that I look at the possibility of restoring canoes as a profession. A little bit of research showed that indeed people who have these canoes will not part with them. They're just looking for somebody who knows how to restore them. And as it turns out, I'm the only person in BC who is restoring canoes professionally. How long does the process take from start to finish? Start to finish, about four months. It depends on how much uh, woodwork has to be done. If it's just throwing on a new canvas, it takes about two months because there's a lot of drying time. The, uh, the paints and the fillers and all that sort of stuff take months to dry. I mean, how would you know how much uh, it was gonna cost? When I was doing it as a hobby, I kept track of how long it took me to do every single process. When I started to set up the business, I said, okay, X number of dollars per hour in the shop, and I've never been out by more than $50 in an estimate. Well, let's talk about that can of red paint that I was holding up earlier. Yes, that belonged to uh, one of my clients and uh, he was downsizing and he didn't need all of this stuff and he gave me a, an old uh, 1970 Chestnut Canoe Company catalog along with that can of paint. And uh, I've now taken it to my, my uh, paint people and they've thrown it into their computer and so I can bring it up anytime I need it. So, the big question. Yes. How much? is the red canoe. This worth. red canoe? You want it? <laughs> I want it. All right. Well, as it turns out, I do have one that's up for adoption. And for the price of the restoration, it's yours. $3,300 plus taxes. That is a wonderful price. Sadly, 
we couldn't figure out a way to buy the canoe on the show's expense account. So we had to leave the beauty behind for some other lucky paddlers. If you are fortunate enough to have an antique canoe lying around that needs some love, consider making the trip down to Grand Forks to see Mike Elliott. While a restoration takes some time, the results will be well worth the wait when you become part of the ultimate Canadian landscape. <laughs>